Hello, welcome to this video where we are going to talk about VSL Synchron Harp. I will divide this video in three chapters. The first one would be about demos. I decided to take three excerpts from famous composers and to create mock-up with them. Uh, the first composer would be Benjamin Britten, the second one would be Tchaikovsky, and the last one is one of my all-time favorites, um, Rimsky-Korsakov. The second part of the video will be focusing on the player, so I will show you a bit of the chromatic mode, the pedal mode, uh, the key switches, and probably a few things about the setup. And lastly, we will see a few mixer presets uh, that you can use for very uh, wide sound, intimate sound, or very dreamy, ethereal sound, or you'll see, there is a lot of things uh, to hear about uh, this, this part. And maybe at the end I will show you a few comparison between uh, the um, uh, full version and standard ver version with the same presets, uh, so you can decide which sound uh, you prefer. And by the way, my name is Jeremy Fries, and I'll be your guest during this video, and let's dive into it. In Vienna Synchron Harp, you have three kinds of articulations, regular, harmonics, and bisbigliando, and each one is coming in ringing mode. Or dampened version, which means that the player is dampening the strings with his hands at the end of a chord or any note that you don't want to keep ringing until the sound dies and it sounds like this. And it comes really handy when you decide to humanize a bit uh, your mockups. Very interesting. Then we have harmonics. Same, comes in ringing and tempered mode, and it sounds like this. And here's the dampened version. And finally, we have Peace Big Leando, ringing mode.
and here's the dampened version. Before showing you the pedal mode, I will show you the chromatic mode. As the name suggests, it's just like a regular piano. All the black keys are on and you can play it like you would play on any keyboard. Now to the pedal mode. Uh, what you can see here is that it comes in two versions. The first one would be this collection of buttons. Uh, it only gives you the information of uh, which um, note is sharpened, neutral or uh, flattened. And you have this version, which I like the most uh, because it's the, um, the diagram you have to draw on your score for, for your uh, musicians if you have to create your scores, of course. Also, what I like a lot about it is that here you have all the keys and every time you change something, if it if it's not uh, an odd uh, an odd tuning, it will be recognized like immediately. For example, here we were in E flat, now we're in A flat, it works. But if you create very odd tunings, you have no information, but you have the diagram so you know how to draw it. What's pretty cool about Synchron Harp is that you also have uh, the scale family uh, with the variant every time. So let's go to major and let's take, I don't know, uh, G flat. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go for uh, a little glissando. You also have a melodic minor. Harmonic major. And harmonic minor. You also have uh, the seven chords, uh, which means that all the notes that you will be able to play will be inside uh, the, the, the chords. Uh, let's say uh, for um, major sevens, uh, let's go to B flat now. So here it uses all the enharmonics to, to create this uh, and to be able to only play chords. Um, also you have a dominant seven. Minor major seven. Minor seven. Half diminished. And diminished. Then you have the whole tone, um, which is pretty um, famous, renowned, if you will. And then the pentatonic major. And you also have the yo mode. I don't really know what it's supposed to be, but it sounds like this. Okay, so now um, I want to show you a feature that I really like uh, is the preset uh, saving of uh, the pedal configurations. Uh, I really like it because you can have, uh, as you can see here, 
on the one, two, three, and five, and seven uh, presets, I have some things uh, saved. Uh, I want to show you how to save it uh, because it will really save you a lot of time. Um, here, for an example, uh, let's say you want some odd uh, pedal tuning. To save this, you just have to choose one of these presets and to tap shift and click left on the one you want here. This time, as you can see, it's saved. Okay, so uh, very, very, very useful and you have like uh, the choice, a lot of choice. Okay, so what's pretty cool as well is that you can um, change the configurations, uh, the saved configurations, or by clicking on these um, key switches, or just going left to right with these ones. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you is uh, about the key switch. When I started to use the Synchron Harp, I tried it with the famous uh, Final Fantasy Prelude, but I wasn't able to change the, um, uh, the key as fast as I needed to, just because uh, there is a little detail in the settings, which is called the key switch grace period. It is the time between the last note you play and uh, when the player allows you to change the key and to press a uh, key switch, uh, which uh, is pretty cool because it lets you keep in mind that you are writing for humans. So you can set it from zero to one second. So like this. But I found out that my favorite is about 0.10. And now it works pretty well when I work on the Final Fantasy Prelude. To finish this video, I'm going to show you a few mix of presets that VSL put together for us. I'm not going to show you everything, and I think I'm going to focus more on the signature presets. Some will be only standard version, only full version, and sometimes will be both, so you can actually compare. And so let's let's start with the ethereal centered.
Okay, so uh, I think we covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. So uh, I wanted to thank you for watching it and go to VSL's website, check on these wonderful instruments and I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.